Let's get to know how temperature affects the particles of matter. In this video, we will be using a simulation from fet.colorado.edu. Let's get to know first the things that we have in this simulation. We have here an enclosed container. Attached is a thermometer which will measure the temperature inside the container. Inside the container are the particles of our substance for this video which is water. Below our container is a bucket filled with either fire or ice. So if we move the lever upward, it means addition of heat. We need to say it becomes hotter. If we move the lever downward, it's removal of heat, represented by ice. It means that the container becomes cooler. To start with, observe the motion of the particles of water and their distances to one another. What do you think will happen to the motion of the particles and their distances to one another if we add heat to the container? Pause the video and make your predictions. Let us now add heat by moving the lever upward. As the temperature rises, observe the motion of the particles and their distances to one another. Always remember that the motion of the particles also denotes the amount of kinetic energy that the particles have. The faster the motion of the particles, the higher their kinetic energy, while the slower they move, the lower their kinetic energy. Observe now their movement and their distances to one another. Is it the same with your predictions? Now at this point, let us see what will happen if we lower the temperature or if we remove heat in the container. We'll do that by moving this lever downward. But before we do that, make first your predictions on what will happen if we lower the temperature. Do you think the motion of the particles will become slower or faster? What about their distances to one another? Will they become nearer or farther to one another? Pause the video and make your predictions. Let us now lower the temperature inside the container. As the temperature continuously decreases, observe the motion of the particles and their distances to one another. negative 24 degrees Celsius, this is how the particles of water behave. Is it the same with your predictions? If you want to try the simulation on your own, just go to www.fet.colorado.edu. 